November 1981, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Mr. Speaker, sir, coming to the budget estimates, I am not going to deal at length with the amounts allotted to various departments. I shall deal only with the major policy of the government which should be adopted in future for the welfare of the state in the sphere of education which could be put down under three categories namely college education, school education and primary education. There is shortage of teachers even as we have with regard to food and cloth. It is the case so far as secondary grade trained teachers are concerned in order that there may not be any shortage of teachers and to get over this situation i suggest that the minimum salary for teachers should be raised from the present level along with the shortage of teachers we also see there is insufficient equipment by way of building accommodation also a suggestion has been made by some honorable members that the number of pupils to be managed by one teacher should be increased. I think the better course would be to introduce the shift system so that another shift of boys might also receive education without constructing new buildings. In a school building which can normally accommodate 1000 students, we can have 2000 students without constructing new buildings. I made mention of this to the Honorable Minister for Education also and I hope he will give his consideration to it. If that is adopted, we need not bother about the construction of new buildings immediately. Of course, for permanent institutions, we can construct buildings according to the convenience of the finance of the governments. It may also be noted that the shift system in the matter of education is being adopted in some western countries also. I wish to say a word about land revenue and agriculture. The river Kaveri is running through my district Koyambutur, Tirchi and some other districts. There you have forest lands. Several departmental officers have recommended that these lands may be converted into wetlands. It is capable of producing fine paddy every season. There will be no need for the grant of any subsidy. If you only dig 4 or 5 feet, you are able to get fine water very easily. I strongly recommend to government that this may be considered immediately so that more than 10,000 acres may be brought under cultivation as wetlands. I am sorry to say that the health of the people does not receive as much attention as it ought to. Sir, at present we find that the medical department seems to be an agent for distribution of foreign medicines. They recommend foreign medicines to everybody without taking into consideration their capacity to buy. I do not blame them for it. I do not mean to suggest that the western system of medicine is bad. We can have that system for certain special branches of treatment. For general medical treatment, people can adopt our own Indian systems which will be more useful and economical than foreign medicines and will be suited to conditions in our state. So far as food is concerned, whatever inducement you may offer by way of bonus to speed up procurement, it does not solve the question of food. We must see that we are self-sufficient in the matter of food and we should not go about seeking food later on. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture said that we are now living in better times. I think it is only in better times that we should concentrate our attention on the achievement of quick results. Letter dated 
ट्वेंटी एयत मे नईटी एटी वन फ्रम दि जनरल सैक्रटरी आल इंडिया एलक्ट्रिकल गूड्स डीलर्स असोसियशन मेड्रा टू दि हानरबल मिनिस्टर फार कामर्स गवर्मेंट आफ् इंडिया न्यू डेली सर वी वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग द फॉलोइंग टू दि कई अटेंशन आफ् दि गवर्मेंट आफ् इंडिया फार सिंपथटिक कंसिडरेशन अंड फेवरबल आक्शन इट ईस ए मैटर फार रेग्रेट दट दि गवर्मेंट आफ् इंडिया has not so far decided to lift the ban on import of high power electric motors by the members of the association during the current year in spite of several representations made by the association we feel sorry to inform you that no favorable orders have so far been issued in the matter it may be pointed out in this connection that local production of this machinery is found to be quite inadequate from time to time hence we are of the firm opinion that there is no other alternative except to allow import of this machinery in order to meet the increasing demand and to bring down the prices it is an established fact that industrialization alone can help to raise the standard of living of the people of a country quickly in the above circumstances we earnestly appeal to the government of india to kindly take into consideration all aspects of the matter and pass early orders to allow import of this machinery by the members of our association thanking you yours faithfully